Scott, uh, hi, it's me yet again. Sorry, listen, I just wanted to know if, if you or any of your people had seen any sign of Christina, picked up anything, you know? I just... How is it possible that I'm the only one in Port Charles that has seen her? Do not even bother to call me back and answer that. Listen, just call me if you do hear anything. It would mean so much, you know? All right, ta. Hey! Uh, could you wait? Not, not, not go yet, please? It, it just didn't seem like a good time, so... Uh... Well, no, I, um... We really haven't had a chance to talk for a while. You know, I mean, at least not out loud. Yeah, sorry I haven't been around. Why haven't you been around? Um, well, uh, Kevin. What about Kevin? He sort of asked me to stay away, sort of. Oh, well, I, I sort of don't let that bother me, so I don't think you should let it bother you. I mean, he doesn't really concern me at all anymore. Oh, really? I hate that you do that. I hate you can read my mind. No, you don't. Okay, I don't hate it. I do hate what's going on with Kevin, though, lately. You know, I, I'm not saying or thinking that we're kaputty, you know, over or anything. It's just I have been doing a, a little rethinking maybe about my whole plan and the universe. You know, maybe my destiny isn't really with Kevin after all. Right, and, and kissing Ann Thornhart, that, that's, uh, that's what? That's your, that's your destiny? <laughs> How do you know about that? Incompetent, huh? Okay. The only thing incompetent around here is a judge who gave our son away. Why don't you do us both a favor? Keep your opinions to yourself. What did you say? You heard me. They wouldn't have to make Danny a ward of the court if it hadn't been for you. If it... Me? Yeah, yes. You're the one... What? With... I'm the one what? Me? Mm. Go ahead, finish. Nothing. No, it's all right. I think that counsel's heard enough ugliness out of us already. If you walked in right now, we'd never get our son back. I don't know why we have to do this at all. I think it would be best for both of us if we didn't have to see each other. Maybe you should try and melt some of that ice in your voice if you want to make any points with this person. Don't tell me what to do. I'm telling you what's best. Why don't you worry about that arrogant chip on your shoulder and oh, all the finger pointing that you arrogant keep doing at everybody else? The arrogant thing on here some sort of is a woman who thinks she can take care of an infant <clears> son. <throat> in... Well, the doctor's Thornhart, I presume. Corners, please. I'm Suzanne Judson, the court-appointed counselor. And before we begin, let me just say that if that display is any indication of your behavior at home, my decision as to where Daniel should be placed should be very easy. Hi, Larry, it's Allison. Uh, I really appreciate you doing this favor for me. I owe you a big. Yeah, um, so what's the story with the DNA test results for Jamal and Hope Hartman? Well, are you... Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, when you do get them in, can you just get them over to the cover room as soon as possible? Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I hope it will. So, no word from your contacts about Christina? Sorry. Well, can't say I'm surprised. You think it's all in her head? She's the only one that's seen her. I don't know. Back with all the stress that's been going on lately. I don't know what the f Speaking of stress, even Ian's meeting with social services should be starting any minute. I mentioned that, huh? Look, I'm your oldest friend, so I hope you don't mind me asking. What? Where exactly is your head these days? With Lucy or with Eve? Ten-mile hikes before breakfast. How oh, long? Well, not oh. till after your customized wake-up calls. Oh, yeah. You know, I wouldn't mind giving you one of those wake-up calls. Mm, anytime. Only I haven't seen you sleeping for the last four days. 
Well, that's because I love to watch you when you sleep. Almost as much as waking you. Mm. And since this is our last night here, I won't plan on either of us getting much sleep. Oh, deal. Mm. 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 Oh. Promise me that I won't wake up and find out I'm back in Port Charles and this was all a dream. Including our engagement? Especially. <laughs> well, maybe it's lack of sleep making it feel like a dream because I have never felt anything so real. Wait, so... wait, wait, wait. I need well, to get a picture. Well, now? Yes, I I'm, need my camera, uh, my purse. Oh, oh, too late, got it. Oh, wait, OK. Give, let's get uh, more. Make me. Oh, come on. Uh, just be careful. The clasp is loose, oh, OK? Oh, don't give me come that, on, Wexler, that like, tire. Come on, I mean it. <sighs> now, look what you did. Me? <laughs> on your knee, Scanlon. Baby, talk dirty to me. <laughs> Frank, what is it? Well, I don't know. It fell out with everything else. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. I, I saw it happen. I've never seen it before. Wow. Wow, what? What is it, Frank? Cocaine. What are you doing with cocaine in your purse? You know how I feel about Lucy. It's forever. And Eve, what I feel for her is protected, and that's because of Ian. There's still no proof he's behind all the things that Eve claims he is. Yeah, and even less proof that he isn't. Guilty till proven innocent. <sighs> I don't operate like that. Let me put it this way. Ian has a dark side. He hides it well, but it's there. And in the meantime, Lucy's trying like hell to convince me that Ian isn't responsible for what's been happening at all. Well, then who is, according to Lucy? A dark, evil force with no face and no name. And who knows, maybe she's right. God knows with everything I've seen in my life. <laughs> if there's one thing I know absolutely is that life is full of strange things. I'm just afraid if I let my guard down and stop believing that Ian's the bad guy, he's gonna show his true colors and really lower the boom on Eve. I don't want to break up a family, man. But I do want Eve and Daniel to be safe. I want it to be right for them. Well, you know, speaking of things that you want, I should uh, make that call. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you need a warm-up, Kevin? Uh, actually, this is tea. Oh, yeah, sorry. Well, uh, uh, what? uh, tea? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Your your friend is having coffee. That's, right. yeah, that's really gross. Yeah, Everything I'll okay? Stay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, I'm just waiting for a friend's test results, that's all. Uh, nothing serious, I hope. Yeah, I hope, too. <laughs> Okay, mate, let's go. They're waiting. Good news? We'll see. Thanks. Thanks for the tea. Thanks for listening. You know what? Don't thank me yet. Come on. Now, from what I see here, Dr. Thornhart is accused of attempting to take and hide the child outside the country. Naturally, he's requesting visitation. Well, after what my husband did, I don't think he deserves custodial rights. What my wife is trying to say is that she's very sorry you walked in the middle of our argument because we still love each other very much. We're trying to work things out. But with our son missing from our lives, it has caused a lot of stress between us. Truth be told, Eve is a wonderful mother and I would move heaven and earth to put this behind us. She is one of the most loving and caring people I've ever known. Doctor. If you would hold that very moving thought, I'm expecting an urgent call on another case. Excuse me. I don't, I don't understand you. What are, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a good impression. So stop your bitching for once and play along. They had their last chance. Remove the child. I'll have the paperwork done within the hour. All right, then. Thornhearts. Now, where were we? How did you know that? What were you doing? Were you were you peeking in my window? 
You know I can read your mind. I mean... Oh, no, you don't. I wasn't thinking about that kiss just now. And I haven't really thought about that much since it happened. I mean, even though it was a very nice, sweet kiss. It, it was just between friends, and that's all it was. Okay, well, then I guess you put out a couple of thoughts in, in your sleep. Oh, no, 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 mister. You, you can't do that, because this is not the first time you've done it. What do you mean? Your powers. Rafe, please just tell me. I want to know about them. What, 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 where did they come from? How do you... You're going to do that. You're going inside again. Don't do that. You're going to tell me, because I have been studying up. I've been reading books. I've been watching movies. I've even been watching many series about vampire slayers. And nowhere in any of those things does it say that we can put mirrors back together or we can see into the future and show people visions. And we certainly can't spy on people kissing. Yeah, well, what, what about vampires who walk out in the middle of the day and live in church Stop basements? Stop it. What about that? talking about vampires. We are talking about... You, come on, Rafe, tell me, who are you? Who really and truly are you? Come on, Luce, you know who I am. Come on, nothing. I, I want to know, really. I want to know about your powers. This isn't just some magic. Don't use that word. It's not magic. It's what? Believe me. Huh? Ah, you're doing it again. Stop. Come on, Rafe, please. Just tell me, after everything we've been through, can't Wait, you no, 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 just let it go. Would you? I, I can't tell you, OK? I can't answer your questions. Why not? Because it's against the rules. That's why. What rules? Now try hearing me. I don't know how it got in my bag. So someone planted it. You just won't believe me. I might, if we hadn't just talked about you not sleeping the last I few days. I already told you. I, I, I know what you told me. Now tell me the truth. What truth, Frank? Just tell me if you're back on drugs, Karen. Oh, Are you, you crazy? No. No, I'm not. Well, then, how did, how did this get here? What is the explanation I for this? I don't know. I, I've told you a thousand times. OK, maybe I do. I, not about that, but I can at least explain about not sleeping and having all that extra energy. I'm listening. Chris. Chris Ramsey put cocaine. Probably. He's crazy enough. But that's not what I'm saying. Chris injected me with vampire blood. What? He's been doing some research ever since Caleb in secret. I found out about it. We started arguing. And I got stuck accidentally. With vampire blood? A formula he developed from it. Anyway, that's the reason I'm acting like this. I'm not on drugs. It's Chris's vampire serum. Exactly. You do believe me, don't you? OK, you've got my attention. What rules? Lucy, please. No, no, don't tell me to forget it, because there is not a chance. I'm waiting. All right, look, all I can tell you is that I'm here looking after you. OK, well, all I can tell you is I'm still standing here waiting. Oh, come on, what is it with the people in this town? Don't you know that there are some things that, that you're just better off not knowing? Like what? Like, like what things? Just forget about it. No, we forget about it. You haven't told me anything. Because I, I told you I can't. Look, when I first came to town, you, you told me your life's a mess. So maybe it's about time you start concentrating on that and not my life or anyone else's. If I know how to fix my own life, I would have my own talk show on TV every single day. I don't know. My life is in such a big mess. I don't, I don't know where to begin to pick up the pieces. OK, you know what? Uh, let's both just calm down for a second. OK. You have to trust your instincts, Lucy. I mean, once you do, you'll know where to focus your energy. Come on. Your heart, it's never steered you wrong before, so what's it saying now? Talk. We've all had our disagreements. I mean, what new parents haven't? With the changes, lack of sleep, the one thing I can depend on about Ian is he wants the best for Danny. That's why you uh, put a restraining order on him, because... Well, because uh, 
Because we all make mistakes, parents. Right, and, judges, you know. Yeah, and you know, we're very overprotective he's, of Danny. He's our firstborn. Yes, and, and now that I think about it, I was suffering from some sort of lack of uh, postpartum depression. I would I would take him out of the, the crib, just, you know, just go to sleep and I'd take him out to play with him after she put him down, and that's not right, you know. He smiled his first smile last time he did that. I almost forgot that. Oh, I won't forget the look on your face. I'm smiling at you. So the, uh, um... The vampire problem. That was just a passing case of postpartum draculitis. No, 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 no. The, the, um... Eve had dreams about vampires way before this, before I even knew her. Right, and uh, I've been uh, working on that with a colleague of mine at the hospital. His name is Dr. Collins, and he's just not overly concerned about and that. And that's a hell of a relief to me, because they were kind of vivid and frightening at times, weren't they? So that's why you made that comment about vampires being real. I was talking about how real the dreams are to Eve. Please. We've had our problems, but we are working on them. And Danny helps us and keeps us working through them. And we love him very much. And we would do anything to have him back. Everything. Well, I promise to give the judge my recommendation as soon as possible. So, thank you very much for your time. And good afternoon. Well, wait a second. Wait. wait, is there any possibility we can see our son today? Even for a minute. Or an hour or two. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? I'm afraid your son has already been given over to the court-appointed caretaker. My apologies. We'll be in touch. Well, that's it then. I know you're still upset with me. I know we still have problems, but... There was a connection there, wasn't there? Old habit. Yeah, well, we're doctors, and we made a vow to... Take care of anything that still has a, a breath of life in it. So what do you think? Just give me a half hour, we'll talk. Just us. What do you say? Something. Karen. Oh, come on, do you really think I would make up something this wild? When someone is addicted to drugs, I'm they'll say anything. I'm not addicted. The coke was planted. Yeah, right. You, you told me that. It was Chris Ramsey. It did. had to be. How? He was here. At the cabin? I, Karen, I, I swear, Frank, he was here. I, I, he's obsessed. I don't know. Deranged. You need help, Karen. I'll gather up our stuff. Frank, will, will you wait? Where are you going? Frank! I'm gonna get you for this, Chris. I swear, one way or another, you're gonna pay. This came while you were taking that order. Thanks, um, I've been waiting for him. I'll cover you if you want a break. Thanks, I'll be great. Okay, so this is it. Um, either this will show that Jamal is not the father of Valerie's baby. Or... Yeah. Allison? Rafe! You all right? Whoever the court's got him with, I'm sure our boy's in good hands. If I could have just seen him. I'd put him in the arms right now if I could. Believe it. Hospital that I call him. You gonna be all right? Yeah, go. Okay. Come here. Hey. Got a friend here, I think, wants to see you. few strings and made me temporary guardian. We've been trying to track you down all over town since you left the hearing room. Listen, I've got to go. Okay, oh okay, thanks. Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, I know one way to make it real. Oh, Jenny! Oh, my sweet baby! Oh, you baby! Kevin, thank you so much. 
thank you so much. I promise I will never forget this. Good to see you smiling. Oh, that's my boy. You're here. You're here with mommy and you're safe. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. On the next Port Charles. I'm going to tell everyone the truth, that you're back and you're trying to destroy them all. You'd do that. You'd ruin everything that we've worked so hard for. You made me do all those things. I know now, and they are going to know too. If you missed Caleb's chilling arrival in Port Charles, you can flash back to Port Charles' tainted love, Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. for Pacific. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.